Today's bow making lesson. Let's take a look at laminations. This U bow is a self bow, meaning it's from one piece of wood. This other bow is actually a triple laminate. That means we've glued three pieces of wood together. It has a backing, a center core laminate, and a belly laminate. Let's take a look at how we glue these together. The three laminations that we're going to use are all cut up, squared off and planed, ready to be glued. We're using bamboo for the backing, purple heart as a core laminate and dagame for the belly. In this instance, our centre core laminate of purple heart has actually been jointed in the handle. This means we can use pieces of wood that perhaps wouldn't normally be long enough for a longbow. To make sure we have everything in the right place, we have our centre line marked and the top and bottom of the handle. All these markings are present on each lamination. Now we can start applying the glue. We run a line of glue from one end to the other, and then evenly spread out that glue along its length, much as the same way as you would spread out evenly the icing on a cake. Now that we've got all the laminations glued up and they're in the correct place, we need to apply some pressure to those laminations to allow the glue to do its job. We wrap around some old rubber strips which helps keep everything in place and glue evenly.
Once we've finished applying the rubber, it's time to give the stave a quick check to make sure that there's no gaps. Once this is done, it's on to the next stage, which is putting it on the former. The former is a curved piece of wood. The stave will be strapped to that former. Clamping the stave down onto the former helps us put a permanent or semi-permanent bend into the bow, what we call a setback. So this will actually bend the opposite direction to the way the bow will eventually be made. This means we can get extra cast or speed out of the bow. Once we're happy with the number of clamps that we've put on, we can check along the edge of the laminates and see where the glue has squeezed out. If there are any areas where there's no glue squeezing out, we can see that we need to put another clamp in that area to make sure that there's enough pressure. After 24 hours of drying, it's time to take the stave off the former and see if it's worked. And there we have it, a laminated stave. Three pieces all glued up, ready to be made into a bow. Hopefully this has given you an introduction to the laminating process. If you're interested in learning more about making bows and arrows, then feel free to subscribe to our channel, or indeed check out our bow making website. All the details are in the description box below. Thanks for watching.